let's um let's not have people come in. I'd like to do this without anybody in here. Sure. Could everybody split? That doesn't have to be here. Thanks. Maybe keep and close the door. Like keep away from the door. Is that your is that your idea? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I wasn't good in school. I didn't care for school. Um, it was nice socially, my own experience, but I kind of just went along. I started off as a music major. I was gonna be a rock and roll star, but that didn't quite work out. In 1985, during a hurricane, Hurricane Gloria, I was, walk I was taking a train into the city to work. I was, uh, I'd gotten to work and I was on the phone with my brother-in-law who, had just started teaching and he said that he was off from school now I'm like wait a second you're off from school for a hurricane and I got I'm going into the I'm going into the city to to work in an office building I said well that's a pretty good gig all right my mother was a teacher and I knew without a shadow of a doubt from early childhood that the one job I would never do was become a teacher never ever I would take toll cards on the turnpike I'll be a shepherd anything rather than become a teacher. And I decided to become a teacher because I wanted to do something with my life besides what I was doing, which was driving a truck for a company. And um, I decided I wanted to do a little bit better for myself, so I got into teaching a little bit. I went back to school at, at the age of 37. A friend of mine from college, his aunt was the principal of an all-girls inner city school in Newark, New Jersey and they were desperate for teachers, so I thought, great, I can do this for a year, it will keep my father from making me get a job at Prudential, and then I'll figure out what I want to do. Father called me up, asked me to go on an interview, and I happened to get the job in a junior high school in Queens, and I ended up uh, starting my what's now my 30th year. Most of the teachers here, at one point, they believed that they could make a difference. You know, I know how important it is to uh, have guidance, to have someone help understand the complexities of the world that we live in. I didn't really have that growing up. change hands like the dollar bill has been rubbed by a lamp and then a genie appeared and cried loudly with volume but the tears were all for myself and that's where it all went wrong
Lupe, Dean Vargas here. Um, I'm sick and uh, won't be coming in today, all right? <laughs> Get to the point, Dr. Hart. I've got a school to run. Your state scores have gone down in the last three years. You're not delivering. Don't pretend like you don't know the game. You earmarked my school as a transfer dump for the worst kids in the district. Well, kids deserve an education, don't you agree? I agree. You're jerking off and wasting my time. Get to the point, we Dr. We need Hart. consensus builders. New methodology. You're corporatizing the system. No. We're cleaning house. The superintendent feels it's time you step down. <laughs> Babe, you got some fucking nerve coming into my yard with a hard fucking cell. Carol, there was a time when you were an educator. You were very well respected. Why don't you go out on top? Barth or Barth? Barth. Is? Mr. Barth, ma'am. Mr. Barth, Henry Barth. So you've taken long-term assignments at uh, Locke and MacArthur, the fringe. Well, that's, that's where the work's at. <clears throat> this is a month-long assignment until I can fill it permanently. I asked to meet with you because you come highly recommended as the best sub on the call sheet. <laughs> that's a somewhat dubious endorsement. <laughs> I agree, Mr. Barth. You will find many of your students functioning well below grade level. It's your task to try and get them caught up. Teach the curriculum, most importantly. Understood? I'm Mr. Barth. For those of you who haven't heard, this is English 11A. Listen up, I have one rule. Just one. If you don't wish to be here, don't come. Dude, what, uh, what does that mean? It's not dude, it's Mr. Barth. The S is silent. <laughs> You're fucking gay. Marcus, shut up. No, you shut up, you dyke bitch. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> guess what? What? You're free to leave. Like right now? Like right now. <laughs> All right, yo. Yeah, I'll catch you later, man. What the fuck? You want me to go to the dean's office? I don't you care where you go. <laughs> Everyone pull out a sheet of paper. I would like to assess where your individual writing skills are. What if are. we ain't got no paper? Okay, here's the situation. You're dead. All right? Write a brief but detailed essay about... Hey, jackass, I asked you a fucking question about what a friend or a parent might say about you during your funeral, okay? You have 30 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I asked you a motherfucking question, didn't I? Anything else? Better back the fuck up before I fucking rock your shit. That bag, it doesn't have any feelings. It's empty. I don't have any feelings you can hurt either, okay? I understand you're angry. I used to be very angry too, okay? I get it. You have no reason to be angry with me because I'm one of the few people that's here trying to give you an opportunity. Now, I'm gonna ask you to just sit down and do your best, and I'll give you a piece of paper. How's that? Can I get a fucking pen, too? Kids don't have any attention span. They're bored. 
So how are you supposed to reel them in with classic literature if they don't if they don't believe that you have something meaningful to share? Thank you. Why did you throw Marcus out of class, but not Jerry? Well, I had to make an example out of somebody. I mean, Marcus verbally assaulted you. That's not allowed in my classroom. And what they say to me is immaterial. What's your name? Meredith. Nice to meet you, Meredith. So you really don't care what the kids say to you? Perhaps I've gotten used to it. I wish I could be that strong. It doesn't take strength, Meredith. You gotta understand that unfortunately most people lack self-awareness. You should really keep that in mind as you head into the trenches of second period. You'll meet him again at every age. I want to see the principal. That's her, Mom. You the bitch that expelled my baby? Excuse and me. for what? Excuse me, maybe you'd like Because to... you can't handle her. Then, bitch, why are you here? You want to be at home with her every day? I don't have time for this bullshit. Do you understand me? Down. Why are you here? Hey, ma'am, calm down. We'll go talk about this in the dean's office. I ain't going nowhere with you. Look, miss, I know you're angry, but they won't listen to you. You need to talk to me. Racist bitch, I'm going to sue your ass. Okay, come on, ladies. This way. Ladies. What happened? Bitch, you give me any more shit in class, and I'm gonna have my niggas fucking gang rape your ass. Excuse me. Are you new here? It's uh, the first day. Welcome. That was quite a scene back there. I was a little stunned. But it's actually safe here. Sorry, I miss Madison. I'm Henry. I mean, Henry Barr. Patricia! 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 Hello? Henry, it's Rita from the hospital. He's done it again. What? You need to get down here. Bastards! Leave me alone! Then why aren't you handling this? I can't get him out! You come and get him! Patricia! Thanks. Grandpa, come on, it's Henry. Open the door. Patricia! No, it's Henry. It's Henry. Who? It's Henry! Grandpa, please, open... Open the door! Hi, sweetheart. I, I, I thought you were your mom. You're dressed, okay. Yeah, where, are you going somewhere? No, I'm going to work. Okay, you're tired. You're tired, okay? And it's very, very late, so I need you to go to sleep, okay? Yeah, just come to bed. How you doing, huh? Some old people sleep a lot before they die. <laughs> Isn't that silly?
everything okay? You shut up. You listen. I know you're just some undereducated drone passing the time with these old dying people, but I'm paying for his assisted living, and you're not assisting him. I told you, take the lock off of his bathroom door. You know how he gets at night, he forgets, so you need to be there for him to make him feel safe. Let me be very clear here. You stop neglecting his needs, or I will start fucking with yours. I will have you fired! Then it's gonna be your family! Your children are going to be at risk. You got it? Don't you ever make me come down here again at this hour. Okay? Why are you following me? I'm not. I'm huh? not. It's late. You should be home. It's a school night. What? You crazy, man? What Get the fuck is your me. deal, huh? From... Why'd you let that guy beat the shit out of me? Huh? He sat there like, like a fucking lemon or Excuse something. Excuse me. I don't want to talk to you. You don't think that there's something wrong with that? Listen, little kid, I don't know how old you were when it all went wrong, but this isn't the fucking answer, okay? Go figure it out, because you're going to get really old really quick. Huh? You know that. Why are you so mean to me, huh? You don't think I have feelings? Do you? Do you have feelings? Listen, pal. I mean, between you and me, you look like you got more problems than me. Oh, really? Yeah, really. So come on, I, I'm gonna make it better. Get off me. Is flirting with me? Nothing. I'm just I'm offering to hang out if you want. I, I mean, want to hang out. I, with I don't you. know. You seem kind of lonely. Maybe we go back to your place. And just relax. You afraid you'll like it? I'm afraid you've been fucked and thrown away so many times. You've gotten used to it. Fuck you, man. Have a good night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just walk away, man. Hey, where are you going? He just fucks their shit up. And the ladies cry for me at the funeral because I ain't around no more to dicks that split up raw <laughs> and shit and my boys all gets faded blazing that skunk shit and fuck <laughs> Tony V you know it's funny I spent a lot of time trying to not have to deal to not really commit I'm a substitute teacher. There's no real responsibility to teach. Your responsibility is to maintain order, make sure nobody kills anybody in your classroom, and then they get to their next period. She used to be a sweet girl. She never seemed dissatisfied with her life, and why should she have been? Her mother and I gave her everything she needed. So why did she become so angry, so miserable and mean all of a sudden? We don't know. 
frankly, it doesn't reflect on us. We were good parents, but still she repaid us for all we've done by killing herself. Stupid, selfish child. Now she'll never get into Princeton. No name. Uh, hi, Lupe. Team Vargas again. I can't do it anymore. I, um, I quit. Well, if it isn't the lovely Dr. Parker. Like a happy pill, help you through the day. They're yummy. I need you to fill in for Dean Vargas' second period. Oh. I'm worried about you, Charlie. Mm. I just uh, really love watching you leave the room. <laughs> Mr. Seymour, he maintained a sense of humor. I think a sense of humor is key. I don't possess it. <laughs> I mean, I do in a tragic sort of way. What you doing here, Mr. C? Um, filling in for Dean Vargas. Vargas is a bitch. Talk shit, and you get slapped like a bitch. You're not gonna give me no detention either. I'm gonna arm fuck your shit up tight, motherfucker. Arm shit, no, arm fuck your shit up tight, motherfucker. Wow. That is... I mean, really poetic. I mean, that's truly, what, lyrical. You should take that on the stage. I mean, that shit sells itself. Hmm. I, whose protuberance walks a quarter of a mile before he says, I am going to arm fuck your shit uptight motherfucker. Hmm. <laughs> I tell you what I'll do, laddie. I'll arm fuck your shit uptight. I'll arm fuck it right uptight up your ass, you motherfucker. I'm going to arm fuck your shit up. Height, you motherfucker! I'll tell you what, um, why don't you have a seat, okay? And then um, I'll be back shortly and we'll discuss your bright future. Okay, my man? I mean, my motherfucker. <laughs> okay, Mae West. Helen, can I see your nipples? What? No. Wrong. See, I... Actually, I can. See, that's the whole point. You have to wear a bra to Look, Mr. Seaball, I'm just being me. I don't tell you how to dress, so you don't tell me. Capiche? Ellen, do you know what that is? It's a beautiful picture of um, a sunset in Kauai. It's rather pretty, isn't it? No, Ellen. Do you know what that is? That's a vagina infected with gonorrhea. That's fucking gross. Yes, very. So you see, when you come to school dressed like that, you give, you give out the wrong signal. Don't you want people to treat you with respect? Yeah, I get respect. I don't give it up to every dick in my face. Every dick in your face. That's respectful. Put this on, wear that for the rest of the day. I said wear that for the rest of the day. Okay. Can I go now? I suppose you can. I mean, uh, if we're done, are we done? We're done. We're done. Another student saved. Come out of the bathroom, Grandma. Come on, Grandma, open the door. Hey, Grandpa. Grandpa. Grandpa, you okay? Where is it, Grandpa? It's Henry. Grandpa. Yeah. Grandpa, it's Henry. Henry. Oh. In pain? No, I, I pissed myself again. <laughs> Come on, Grandma, open the door. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you, uh... Can you come in here, please? We have a little accident? Yeah. Accident. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. See, we're taking care of it. See? You're okay. All right? You yeah. doing any writing, yeah. Grandpa? You been doing writing? In the journal? Yeah. No. Yeah? My, my life. 
My life isn't worth the memoirs. Why do you want to go out like this? Uh, I hate being a burden. You're not a burden, okay? Not I'm sure you, you like coming here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your mother came by today. Have you spoken to her lately? say you're fine, but I know you hide things from me. You've always been closed off ever since you were a kid. Why is that? Huh? Why? Oh, you're upset. I shouldn't say these things to you. I, I, I don't mean to make you... Yeah, it. don't upset me, Grandpa. Just, I don't want to talk about the past. You and I remember it very differently. Just rest, okay? Close your eyes. I'm here. I'll be here with you. When you stop coming, Henry, I'll die. Smoke? No, I don't have a smoke. Where'd you go, huh? What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do, you kid? I don't know. Can you lend me ten bucks? Come on, man, I'm hungry. Some need a mind. Come here. Wash your hands. There's soap over there. You got anything stronger? Eat your sandwich. something on it. Oh. 
Look, I gotta get back. Back? Back where? Listen, buddy. If you don't got the money, it's cool. I mean, you know, I like you. I'll blow you for 50. Listen to me. Knock off the bullshit, okay? Hello, this is Dr. Parker. My son's ADHD, and I looked it up online, and that's what he's got. Now you gotta give him his free laptop. Mr. Camden, your son Oliver injured a student. Oh, his problems are behavioral. Hey, my kid's got a disability, and he's not learning anything, and it's your fault. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What is the matter with you? Get out with me. As it is, our resources are emaciated, and I have real LD kids that need my attention. He's always mad all the time because he's not getting the services he needs. No child left behind promises me my right. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Mr. Hey, what are you doing? What is this? What is this, funny? Get to class, get to class right now. What's the joke? I don't get the joke, huh? Is this funny? Does that look good to you? Do you like hurting animals, huh? Is that what you like to do? Answer me, do you like hurting animals? No. You like this? Come here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Walk. Studies have shown that kids who are prone to hurting animals at an early age eventually fall into a high percentage of adults who may fail to develop even the most basic feeling for people. David, how do you feel about this? I feel trapped, like the cat.
here. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, here, here. All right, here. What are you paying me for, huh? Wasn't in my mouth. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Fuck! Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I don't think badly of me. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Look, you don't need to promise me. Okay, don't promise me. Whatever it is that you feel that you need to do, you do it. But you don't do it here. Okay? What are, what are you doing there? I'm just not. So what, what is all this supposed to be? Your tortured soul? Why, why don't you paint something to, uh, cheerful, like ha happy with color? What do you want from me, Dad, besides for me to have him born with a penis? I don't work all day to have my night ruined by your teen angst. Most liaise might get you a full ride to Stanford if you were some minority kid. And I am not going to support you and your little creative habits, OK? I've had it with all your little art projects that are going nowhere. <laughs> You always know what to say, Dad. You know, if you, if you grew your hair out and lost some weight, you could attract a nice boy, you know, who knows? There should be a, a prerequisite curriculum for being a parent before people attempt Try this at home. <laughs> what else? You're supposed to ask me before you take them. They were vitamins and aspirin. At some point, um, you should get an HIV test. Why are you crying on the bus? Go to sleep. Friend of yours? A friend. Um, no, 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 no. Um, Clausen had no friends. He was um, total asshole. Okay. What was his problem? He chose a vocation that did not choose him. And then he spent his whole career casting pearls before swine. He talked like that. Right? Yeah, um, not nice. A child hater, basically. Mm. He tried to purge Steinbeck. And Faulkner from a required reading list. Oh, yes. Well, let it be said, from the safety of his sabbatical, Lawson, you can do no more harm. <laughs> <laughs> How did he die? Who knows? And um, who cares? Lawson.
What does that mean? To take something in. Okay, excellent. To absorb. Anyone? <laughs> Everywhere, all the time. So what is ubiquitous assimilation? Always absorbing everything everywhere all the time. Well done, George. How are you to imagine anything if the images are always provided for you? Who here read 1984 last year? Good. Anyone? Meredith? Having two opposing beliefs at once and believing that both are true. Excellent, Meredith. Why do you always suck his dick, you fucking kiss ass? To deliberately believe in lies while knowing they're false. Examples of this in everyday life. Oh, I need to be pretty to be happy. I need surgery to be pretty. I, I need to be thin, famous, fashionable. Our young men today are being told that women are whores, bitches, things to be screwed, beaten, shit on, and shamed. This is a marketing holocaust. 24 hours a day for the rest of our lives, the powers that be are hard at work, dumbing us to death. So, to defend ourselves and fight against assimilating this dullness into our thought processes, we must learn to read, to stimulate our own imaginations to cultivate our own consciousness, our own belief systems. We all need these skills to defend, to preserve our own minds. Very carefully, it's paper. Great. Wanna look? You just made your own tessellation. Wow. I don't care what they say, honey, you're doing great. I had a hard time with math, too. It takes time. <laughs> wow, that is damn cool. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thanks for staying late. All 15 or 20 of you. Today, we'll be presented with new coursework engineered to boost state exam performance as mandated by No Child Left Behind. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to be here. I've come today with some edifying materials to help your matriculating and non-matric students to better prepare for the upcoming state exam this May. Let me start by stating, I love teachers. I love what you do, what you stand for. You guys are the real heroes. Now, the one thing I've learned in all my years in the private sector is that real estate generates revenue and burgeoning property values will be this school's saving grace. But your school's low test scores are bringing down home resale value in this neighborhood during a market already in decline. And we gotta get scores up. New families in our district. And more motivated kids in your school. And I'm not placing any blame. Excuse me, are you here to sell some test materials or to air your concerns as a property owner? Listen, um, I'm curious. 
Are you giving away popcorn with this crap that you're pushing? This faculty has spent their lives on the boards, and you tell us that our careers are about resale value? Give bullshit! Give them hell, Edie. Storm the gate. Don't oversimplify it, ma'am. That's a hazard you can't afford. That sounds like a threat. Can you, that's enough. Can you please that's sit down? That's enough. Could you please sit Can down? Can we have some order here, please? <laughs> Dr. Hart was right. Your school's the pride of the district. Can I give that pal? And to finish your pitch, we'd like to go home. What's your hurry, huh? I hear they're putting you out to pasture. So enjoy running this relic for a few more months. You're a fossil and you're fucking done. You ever dread going home? Lately, I don't know what to do with myself when I'm not in the classroom. <laughs> Some Friday afternoons, I'm afraid to go home. Afraid of all that time alone. My mother hates my father passionately. I'm there for them on a permanent basis. He watches a lot of TV. Probably the only time I don't feel naked. Not a temporary one. I teach for selfish reasons. My mother was Ms. Madison. You're better than that. Any control. I need those kids it. more than I she should. She does sixth grade at Samuel Douglas Middle School. Her moments in school were the only moments she had. She mostly lives like a shut-in. I'm up there every day in front of them. Best teacher I ever had. So what's your story? Story. I'm just, um, I'm just taking it one thing at a time. Why are you wasting your life? You know subbing's a dodge. I teach every day. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, you don't really know me. So what happened to you? You don't want something more permanent? Hi. Where have you been? What? Well, I was out. With a colleague. Boy or a girl? A woman. You make me feel so stupid. Why do you treat me like a kid? <laughs> well, you are a kid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't expecting this. All you had to do was tell me you were going to be home later. Look, back up. All right? <laughs> I'm not beholden to you. Okay? I mean, you're welcome to stay here. But, you know, you don't get to have expectations of me, all right? This is a temporary thing. You, you're, you're, you're able to stay here, but eventually you're going to have to go. You understand that? I think it's important that you... It's you're... clear. I get it. You want me to go now? I got better things to do than clean up this dump. <sighs> can't believe you made dinner. With what? Groceries. From the grocery store. Well, it's, uh, it's really nice, kid. It's been a long time since somebody's cooked me a home-cooked meal. Thank you, Eric. We all have problems. We all have things that we're dealing with, right? And we all, um, take them home with us at night and take them to work with us in the morning. I think that helplessness, that realization, that foreboding of being adrift in a sea with no buoy, no safety net, when you thought you'd be the one throwing the buoy.
Hi. Anything for dinner? Tell me all about it from the beginning. You don't care. Oh, Mao. That's so untrue, my love. You are so condescending. Give me a kiss. Hmm. Come on. No one's looking. We'll solve everything. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> summer in Venice, before our travels were resigned to reviving old passion. Instead to me? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> walk on down through grass grown tall and brown and still as hard somehow to let go of my pain. On past the busted back of that old and rusted Cadillac that sinks into this field. Journal? No. I don't remember much. I lost the habit. You can't think in this place. You can't make new memories. Of these cutthroat busted sunsets, these cold and damp white mornings, I have. Store lips, I spoke these words out loud, but no one hears me. Lay your blouse across the chair, let fall the flowers from your hair, and kiss me with that country mouth so plain. Outside, the rain is tapping on the leaves. To me, it sounds like they're a
You're right. What? You see me? You see me standing here? Yeah, I see you. Yeah. Oh, God. It's so relentless. Thank you. Thank, thank you. way for me to do this. I've spoken to the superintendent. He's agreed to let you ride out the rest of the year. It is what it is. Take your pension, go to that beautiful house of yours. Send Mr. <sighs> Haven't you ever had enough? Haven't you ever just wanted to tell someone to fuck off? I think I'm sick. Hmm? I crossed the line today. I... I mean, the whole... The whole thing is fucked. The whole thing is fucked. Is it not? What up, Dr. Parker? Can we get this over with? I got shit to do. Okay, so what are your plans after high school, Missy, since you're not going to college? I don't know. Hang out with my boyfriend. Do some modeling shit and... Be in my friend's band. Well, I have your 10 week grade report. You know what it says? F, 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 yeah. Do you know what that means? It means you don't care. You're brilliant. Can I go now? <laughs> God, you are a shallow, disgusting creature. You want to know the truth? One, you're not going to be in a band or a model, Missy, because you have no ambition. With no skills, you'll be competing with 80% of the U.S. workforce for a minimum wage job, which you'll work at for the rest of your life till you're replaced by a computer. I don't care. Two, the only talent you'll ever have is getting men to fuck you. Your life will basically become a carnival of pain, and when you can't stand it, not one more day, not one more hour, it will get worse, much worse. Every day I come into this office and I listen to you get shit all over yourself. It is so easy to be callous. It takes courage and character to care. Not that you have any of those qualities. Get out! Just get out! Get out! Fuck you! I'm a total burnout. You are not. I am. I mean, I don't know how you make it through the day. Come on, stop. listen. Seriously, what do you think I take these pills for? Why? I mean, th that's a rubber room in there. Oh, Connie, if I didn't take these things, I I'd be I'd be committing mass murder on half of these parents, and I'd be helping them throw their fucking kids out the window. Come on, you're the best. Look, I'll tell you my opinion. The worst thing about this job is that nobody says thank you. No. No. Well, I am here to say thank you for doing a job that none of us can do. None of us. Grace? <laughs> have I ever told you that you're the only person I have to talk to? Hi, Henry. What happened? They called your house. Your grandfather felt some chest pains. And? The doctor says he's stable. He doesn't have a lot of time. I'm so sorry, Henry. How long have you been here? Since this morning. I didn't know how to get a hold of you. I don't know where you work. Been here all day with him?
Hi, Grandpa. Still hanging in there, I see, huh? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Your mother was with me today. Did, did you see her? No. I told her I was afraid to leave you. But she promised that she'd look after you. I'm sure she meant it. Patricia, darling, you've forgiven me. Haven't you? What do you need to be forgiven for, Daddy? Oh, those things, you know, the things I did. All you ever did was take care of me. Always look after me. Weren't you afraid of me? No, Daddy. No, son. You know how you get sometimes. You get a little mixed up. You, you feel responsible for things you didn't do. So I wasn't the one that hurt you? No, sir. That wasn't you. I hoped it wasn't true. Patricia... Darling, I've always loved you. Daddy, you can feel free to leave whenever you're ready. You know that? It's okay. There's nothing to fear. Patricia, your mom? What happened to her? She left a while ago. You mean she died? How did she die? My father left when I was a kid, so I don't really remember him. It was always the three of us. It was mother and grandpa and I together in his house. I found her uh, on, on the floor. She'd taken enough pills, so. And uh, grandpa, in the moment, kind of lost it. I sat with Grandpa on the porch, and uh, we watched as they came and took her away. How old were you? Seven. Yeah, I don't know for sure, but I think that when Mother was young, something happened with her and Grandpa. Were you afraid of him? No. Did she ever say anything to you? No. But, uh, looking back on it, I think she protected me in her own way. How? She made me lock my door at night. is now empty and bare with an abandoned shame about it. The jungle gym, 
the slide and the swing have rusted together. They're all so terribly alone now. Where did all the children go? Didn't they know that the park needed them? A child's intelligent heart can fathom the depth of many dark places. But can it fathom the delicate moment of its own detachment? Hi, Meredith. How's it going? Fine. Uh, I made a picture for you. Hmm. You did? Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. It's uh, really talented. Thanks. You've been doing this a long time? Mm -hmm. I've been doing it since I was a kid. A faceless man in an empty room. Is that how you see me, Meredith? Uh, I don't know how I see you. It's just how I thought of you in the situation. I mean, and do you ever think about who your teachers were on the outside in the real life? I guess so, yeah. Does this place seem unreal to you? I watch you around school and... You always seem so sad. Like, maybe you have a hard time with things. And you need someone to talk to. Meredith. Yes. Do you need someone to talk to? Yeah. Will you talk to me? When you talk to me, when you look at me, it's like you really see me. I do see you, Meredith. You want to go see Dr. Parker? Oh, now? come on. Don't blow me off with a guidance counselor. I'm not. I'm not. What can I do? It's like you said, we're, we're born into this. There's nothing left, nothing but to realize how fucked up things are. It's not enough. I won't last. Listen to me. Just listen. We're all the same. We all feel pain. We all have chaos in our lives. Life is very, very confusing, I know. I don't have the answers, but I, I know that if you write it out, it'll all be okay. Do you like me? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> Meredith? No, please stay away. Meredith, I'd like to help you. Please, no, please. No, 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 no. Okay. You said you like me. Please. Please. No, please. No, please. Everything is okay. It is okay. Please. <laughs> Meredith? No, no, no. Meredith, wait a second. Meredith? Yeah. What is going on? What? Hey, what were you just Meredith. Doing? Meredith, I'm sorry. What were you doing? What? What are you doing? Excuse me? You were just touching her. What are you, what are you, what are you insinuating? It is inappropriate to be in here alone with that young girl. It's inappropriate? She needed someone to talk to. This what do you room. think I'm doing, huh, I lady? don't know what you're doing. What do you think, I'm a fucking pervert? Is that what you're insinuating? She needed someone to talk to her. Well, then why were you touching her? I wasn't touching her, you fucking... Sorry, mate. Shut up! Patricia. I'm, 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 I'm not some sick old man. Is that what you think of me? Is that what you think? I just wanted to help her! Get up, excuse me. What excuse am I me. supposed to think? What are you supposed to think? Stop being so fucking judgmental.
Hello? No, he's not home. some paperwork downstairs that we need you to take care of. I'm sorry. wish things were different. I tried. <laughs> you know, the fucked up thing is that we all... We all have problems. We all have things that we're dealing with. I, some days we're better than others. Some days we're, we're not so great. Some days we have uh, limited space for others. Some milk. These kids need something else. They don't need me. You okay? Yeah, I'm not hungry. <clears throat> keep living on the street. I'm not. I mean, I'm staying here with you. Well, you, you can't continue to stay here with me. I'm not good for you. It's not true. You're like the only family I've ever had. Well, I, I can't be your family. I can't give you what you need. Understand, you, you should be good and gentle. You're the most kind. I love you, Andrew. <clears throat> Come on. Hi. Hi. Hello there.
feel just awful for her. For who? Our school. It may sound baroque, but I have always felt that the school had a spirit. These aren't just all a bunch of old buildings, but they're alive. just don't understand it. Where are all the parents? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was in my room for two hours and saw one parent. Where are they? Where is everybody? We don't know. It's uncanny. No air raid sirens, no bombs. It doesn't happen that way. It starts in a whisper, and then nothing. We had our music once, didn't we? Oh, yes, we did. Ah. <laughs> hey, do you remember those nights when we had two parents at a time, and then mm. there were more, there were many more waiting in the wings, mm -hmm. and the halls were full of joy and celebration? Now it's nothing. Mm. A remembrance of things past. I actually felt quite at home. Parents. <laughs> I thought how appropriate. It was like a moment of insight into <laughs> the reality of the fucking problem in the first place. Some of us believe that we can make a difference. And then sometimes we wake up. we failed. Hi, this is Gretchen calling from the free clinic. Erica Lewis's test results are back. Please give us a call at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Before we take roll, I want to tell you that um, today will be my last day with you. And you're going to have a permanent teacher on Monday. Where are you going, Mr. Barth? I want to go to another school. I'm going to miss you, man. I fucks with you. Yeah? All the other teachers in this place are the dickheads. So you don't get tired of moving around all the time? It's, uh, it's how my job works, Tanya. I, I come in here for period of time so you don't have 20 subs in and out of here and then you have a permanent teacher come in and I leave. Attention all teachers. This is a special announcement from the principal's office. There will be an all faculty meeting today during nutrition. Student nutrition will be extended by 10 minutes. Thank you. I invited you here today to discuss the state of things 
I know that there wasn't a... I know that there isn't... I'm sorry. We all need something to distract us from complexity and reality. No one wants to think about where that came from. No one wants to think about the struggle that it takes to become somebody, to get out of. Get out of the sea of pain that we all have to get out of. Hi, Meredith. Hi. Haven't seen you in class lately. Oh, where have you been? Speaking. I see. Yep. I'm happy I get to see you, you know, today's my last day. How ironic. <clears throat> Listen, I, um, I was thinking, you know, I, I bought this for myself, but maybe you could, um, make better use of it. That one's best. Can't have that one. It's mine. But can you have this one? It's better for you anyway. Well, thanks. I'm sorry if I hurt you in any way. I um I know that it's tough right now for you. But it's not always going to be this Goodbye, way. Mr. Fry. Bye, Mary. They say that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. I'll let you know. My name is Meredith, and I'm going to kill myself. We have such a responsibility to guide our young so that they don't end up falling apart, falling by the wayside, becoming insignificant.
something to me. I'm a non-person, Sam. You shouldn't be here. I'm not here. You may see me. failing. We're failing. We failed in the sense that we have let everyone down, including ourselves. walking down the hallway or in your in class. How many of you have ever felt the weight pressing down on you? Hmm? I have. Everyone? Well, Poe wrote about these things over a hundred years ago. So, as we read, we can see that the House of Usher is not merely an old, decrepit castle in disrepair. It's also a state of being. During the whole of a dull, dark, and soundless day, in the autumn of that year, when the clouds hung oppressively low in the heavens. I had been passing alone on horseback through a singularly dreary tract of country, and at length found myself, as the shades of evening drew on, within view of the melancholy house of Usher. I know not how it was, but with the first glimpse of the building, a sense of insufferable gloom pervaded my spirit. I looked upon the simple landscape of the domain, upon the bleak walls, upon the white trunks of decayed trees with an utter depression of soul. There was an iciness, a sinking, a sickening of the heart. Thank you. 